Can you just tell me what you think people should think and feel when they see that more athletes are joining this call for real substantive change? What, what they should think and feel? Yeah. I mean, uh, I wrote a Players' Tribune as a, as a call to athletes, but it was a call to everyone. Um, but especially our athletes and our celebrities and politicians, we have a voice that can be used for the voiceless. We have this platform to sit in front of all these cameras in this media and be a voice and to use our voices in, in the right and correct way. Um, so I challenge all of us, if you're still staying silent, you're part of the problem. If you're choosing to be neutral, you're choosing the side of the oppressor. We kind of ran into June uh, with the deaths of innocent black men and women. No Every day when I wake up, I am a black female in America. Even though I'm mixed race, to the outside world, when you perceive me, I'm a black female. Um, so for that, every day that I walk out of my door, I have the potential to be Breonna Taylor. I have the potential to be George Floyd. And that's the reality that I live every single day. Black lives matter! Black lives matter! You know, my fiance is of mixed race as well. Uh, we plan to have children. They will be of mixed race. They will be black children. Um, and I just want a better world for them. Uh, and I feel that there's never been this much momentum, this much leverage behind uh, the movement for social equity. It's a time for attention on a lot of ends. Uh, I'm just trying to do my best and my due diligence not to fall short uh, to ensure that we're active within our communities and that we're taking it back to our hometowns like here in Philly as well. Um, so just continuing to take action moving forward.